Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 9th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at our sun, as we're still seeing multiple strong C class solar flares, as well as plasma filaments creating coronal mass ejections. 304 angstroms here. You can see the bottom left-hand side. Plasma filament ripping away. You can also see here on the left-hand side on the incoming imagery. A little earth to scale visual there. Huge plasma filament eruption. And it did create a coronal mass ejection, but not in an earth-facing direction. Still waiting for data to come in, too, from the ISWA. That's the last 48 hours outgoing. Another closer look at the plasma filament and all of the interactions around sunspot regions. Huge filament eruption. Having a look at multispectrum, pointing out to the last 48 hours of events. A few plasma ropes turning in and raising from the surface. And as well, coronal hole regions in the southern and northern hemisphere. Nothing equatorial region. 171 angstroms. We have 11 sunspots right now. And it was this time a couple weeks ago where we saw a dozen, if not 13, sunspot regions. And right now we have 11. We got a sunspot grouping facing us and as well turning in. Closer look here at some sunspot regions in action. Sunspot grouping on the right-hand side, pretty peculiar. And the sunspot region, southern hemisphere, diminishing, then building, and a big uh, sunspot moving in. Current space weather conditions, there are none to talk about. Not even reporting solar winds. Solar X-ray flux reporting multiple C-class solar flares the last 48 hours. Solar X-ray flux remains in the C range. And as well, solar proton flux is still up a little bit. KP index hopped up to a 3. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. Small CME, same thing as the ISWA. And that is still only imagery from yesterday. Still waiting because there was another coronal mass ejection in the last frame of the Solar Dynamics Observatory views here. Having a look at Alaska 2, this is where we will see the most recent CME that I was just speaking of in the last frame there on the 9th. No major coronal mass ejections to report or solar flares, but just recently that CME just left our sun. Currently, our solar winds are coming in at 405 kilometers per second after being topped up at about uh, 420 kilometers per second. Pretty stagnant right now, C-class range. Now let's get to earthquakes. The past 24 hours yesterday, reporting the large 6.7 earthquake in the Philippines. There was no tsunami with that, but notable earthquake today, 5.9 Sado, Japan. That is just east of the region that was forming recently and saw that large 7.6 earthquake. Notable earthquake there, Vanuatu, 200 kilometer depth, 5.4. And as well, Tonga region reporting a sizable earthquake here, 5.7 magnitude earthquake after yesterday seeing two pretty deep earthquakes, 4.4, 512 kilometer depth and a 530. Quiet across Hawaii, Alaska, minor activity continuing. Most notable there, 3.8 Hughes, Alaska. And as well, a 4.3 here, Port McNeil, Canada, northern Juan de Fuca Plate. And look at all this activity across western Canada right now. British Columbia, preliminary reports coming in, 3.5 ranging up to 4.5. As well, notable there, small earthquake swarm, Campbell River. 
Always keeping an eye on Canadian earthquakes as well when they happened, especially the Juan de Fuca Plate. Having a look here at, at the tremor map showing all of this minor activity, 1.2 and greater to 1.7. And that we really did see an increase on the 7th. So the first week here has been pretty active for earthquakes and as well extreme weather around the world. Caribbean plate seeing lots of activity. As well here, 5.4 Chile. Notable earthquakes there in northern Peru. And as well, earthquakes all across the Indian plate and up into China. There are more earthquakes being reported all around the Tibetan plateau, not reported here. Now let's just have a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world. All of the elevated rings on these maps depicting the depth of the earthquakes. Still pretty quiet across the North American plate and Central America. Eerily quiet, actually. Expecting something to bubble up over the next 48 hours. Notable activity all around the Philippines plate and up into Japan, Pacific plate. Deep earthquakes all around the region, the trifecta effect. And as well, all of the most recent earthquakes in Guam. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center. Multiple tornado warnings going out with this large system sweeping across the nation. Melbourne, Florida, Wilmington, North Carolina, Jacksonville, Florida. 262 active hazards right now. Let's get to the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Popo in Mexico, as well as Santa Maria, Guatemala. It's going to be hard to find all of the volcanoes here amongst all of the active hazards, flood watches, and as well tornado warnings and watches across the United States. Nevada's Daru is in Colombia. Luatobi, Indonesia. Fuego, Guatemala, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Merapi, Indonesia, Sabin Kaya in Peru, Dokono in Indonesia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today. Amongst the 43, they're active and erupting. Having a look at satellite imagery, huge systems across North America right now. Parts of Texada Island, heads up, bottle caps. You guys saw some pretty extreme weather last night, and it will be continuing over the next few days. Multiple systems moving in, and as well for Ontario, mixed bag of precipitation right now. But watch for long-range forecast, big snowstorm moving in. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, lingering low across the Northern Territory, set to bring in flood alerts and as well extreme weather. Overlooking Africa and Europe, strong low pressure system moving through the Mediterranean right now and as well strong system building in the North Atlantic. Long range forecast that will be making landfall. Spain, but not before all of the cold gets funneled down from the north. Let's have a look at the weather forecast here for our world, starting out here in North America. An angry low pressure system here set to bring in m lots of moisture, 30 to 50 millimeters of rain expected, and as well 30 to 35 centimeters of snow through parts of northern Ontario, but then 12th into the 13th, an even bigger system here develops. Alberta Clipper runs through. So over the next few days, it's going to be mixed precipitation until about the 12th of the 13th before all of that extreme cold temperatures start fueling southward. Big high pressure ridge over the Canadian prairies is going to help with that. Overlooking Europe and the North Atlantic, 
Strong systems here, as I said, moving through and forecast to move through. But then watching these systems coming from the north, as they all join forces there with the polar vortex air and extreme cold temperatures will persist. Overlooking Australia, South Africa, heavy rains for parts of northern Madagascar, big low pressure system there developing through the North Pacific. Cyclone set to give Madagascar a glancing spray. And then multiple systems here affecting Northern Territory of Australia and as well New Zealand. Quick look here at North Pacific Ocean, watching the West Coast as multiple systems will be coming through this week. High pressure does not last long. Watch for heavy rainfall through Northern California, 13th to 14th. Heavy snow through Southern British Columbia around the same time frame and long range big systems here developing in the North Pacific. Having a look here at our world for temperatures right now. Polar vortex is gearing up. Winter 2024 in full effect. Minus 50 in parts of Siberia. Minus 30 in parts of northern Canadian prairies right now. And that is set to swing around. This is our polar vortex right now. Which one of them circulations are our North Pole? I'm not sure. Are these just two huge low pressure systems spinning around the center of it? Nonetheless, very peculiar indeed. Upper level winds on our planet right now. And it only looks like this in the winter time. This is what our southern hemisphere looks like in the winter time. But in their winter, it looks like the north. They just switch. This is last year. And this is this year. Last year, 2023 and 2024. Versus our northern hemisphere. This is last year. And 2024. Big changes happening on our planet. So happy that you guys are here to witness and share this information. Much love to you all and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Much love. Be kind to each other. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye bye now. Prayers for humanity. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.